Hello and welcome to the Simplicity Lifestyle channel. My name is Psyche. Brand new week, new day. Let's keep going, right? I hope all of you are okay. Thank you so much for all your support. And yes, I'm still going and I'm still pushing through because of all of you. So thank you so much. Now today I'm going to be reacting on a, a mini little thing, even though it's huge on another scale and that's Whitney Houston's the late Whitney Houston's Star Spangled Banner national anthem that she sung in 1991 for the Super Bowl in Tampa now you know few people have said this was just a jaw dropping moment so without much further ado let's get straight into the Psyche Inc titles and let's get watching Whitney Houston singing the Star Spangled Banner and in Tampa in 1991 for the Super Bowl. <laughs> And now to honor America, especially the brave men and women serving our nation in the Persian Gulf and throughout the world, please join in the singing of our national anthem. The anthem will be followed by a flyover of F-16 jets from the 56th Tactical Training Wing at MacDill Air Force Base and will be performed by the Florida Orchestra under the direction of Maestro Yaha Ling and sung by Grammy Award winner Whitney Houston. <laughs> wow I mean when she started off it was soft but strong 
and so in control. And the whole stadium, you could hear a pin drop. And she just came out and they just started and she just, on that first beat, she was there. Everything was clear. Everything was crystal clear. And it was just like, it was just so smooth. Every note, every word that came out of her mouth was just seamless. And she was, she held back. And then she went for it and then she brought it back. And then she went for it. And even when she smiled, it was effortlessly. I mean, it just, she was smiling and she was still belting out the notes. Whereas most people go, and you see their face like excruciating. But she was just smiling and belting it out. And you could tell just by the way she was singing and the volume behind the voice no croakiness no nothing it was on point she was joyous her whole body was so joyous it's almost as if she was so grateful to be standing there singing that song because it the way it came across and i love the way that she was just dressed in her tracksuit and stuff it was just so normal but absolutely uh, absolutely beautiful you know when I say normal she, it was just simple but she opened her mouth and it just filled the stadium and it must have reached the sky and the stars and beyond and the changes the core changes at the very end of the last couple of bars you know um just uh, do you know what? I was filled from head to toe when she was singing it, I was quite moved. But when she sung the last bar and then it changed, uh, no, when all the chords changed, a couple of sharps and flats and everything, um, it was just amazing. I mean, I'm not even American and I love America. I'm not American, but I could have been listening to that because it was so beautiful I felt so proud and I'm not even American and I think that's one thing I have to say about America no matter what your problems are and trust me everybody has problems all over the world everybody so I don't know why people point fingers because problems everywhere the thing I like about America is that no matter where you come from or your cultural descent Americans love America. I mean, they would die for their country. And it's just incredible. And no one can deny that. They love their country. And when you hear that, that is, I love America, and that song is like, full stop. Just like that. Just like that. That's a full stop. No conversation. As you'd say, no conversation, baby. Mm-mm. That was it. That was that was a moment. And I think that rendition of it will stay in the history books forever. Because no matter where you come from around the world, that was outstanding. And it pierced me. And I'm not even American. So it must have pierced the Americans. And it must have pierced it so much that not only did everyone love it, um, but they released it as a single and it shot straight to the top of the charts and I can see why. And then they re-released it again because it was stupendous, really, really good. So thank you for watching that. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, the late Whitney Houston. Anyway, please subscribe. Please hit the notification bell. Bing, bing. share and thumbs up and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you again soon take care bye bye